Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. And in this video, I'm going to ask a question. While, you know, obviously doing my demo thing as I show off the new offset Fender guitar in my life, the Jags thing here. I've got a Jags thing now, guys. How cool is that? So anyways, the question, the very important question. Is the Jags thing a surf guitar? It kind of is, right? It's one bridge pickup swap away from becoming a full blown surf guitar. Let's look at the specs and you'll see what I'm talking about. First of all, 24 inch scale neck here. That's the Jaguar scale. That is a surf guitar scale. I've got a Jaguar back there and a shorter scale like that, it just feels surfy to me. This neck feels like a Jaguar neck. It's got vintage style frets on it. It's got that lighter fret wire. It has a seven and a quarter inch radius across the fretboard. That is a very vintage throwback surfy style feeling neck. Like this whole thing, this whole neck adds up to feeling extremely surf appropriate. And then you look at the body. That's a fun body shape for a surf guitar guys. It looks like it could have come out of, you know, like the early sixties. I know technically, it is a composite of the top side of a Jaguar and the bottom side of a Mustang. And I, honestly, I think Kurt Cobain did a really great job. This is me speaking as a graphic designer right now. I think he did a great job compositing together a guitar design by just cutting up photos. That's honestly what graphic designers used to do pre-Photoshop is they would take photos, they would cut them up, and then they would photograph the photos. And that's how they made everything that they made. Pre-internet, pre-computer, I mean. <laughs> pre-photoshop but anyways then you've got a single coil in the neck which gives you some very classic jangly spanky sorts of single coil tones and that scale length and the neck paired with this offset mustang bridge here gives you that very plucky thuddy percussive jangly surfy sound this is a surf guitar guys and then the mustang vibrato which is something i'm very excited to actually get a chance to have real experience with now. I've never owned anything with a Mustang vibrato. And every time I've tried a Mustang in a shop, it's missing the wiggle stick. So I don't get a chance to actually try it out and see if it's something that I like. And after having spent about a week with this guitar and even playing it live, I played it live at church this past Sunday. I'm a huge fan. The Mustang vibrato is not what the internet has been telling me it is. Has the internet been lying to me my whole life? <laughs> Every other post I've ever seen about the Mustang vibrato has been like, oh, it's so unstable. It's got all these problems. Cause anyone, can anyone help me with this problem? Maybe mine is just set up really, really nice. It's very tuning stable, especially if I'm doing like light fluttery stuff. If I get divey and crazy with it, of course, of course the guitar is going to go out of tune, but it feels great. In my experience so far, it's been way more tuning stable than I expected it to be. It has its quirks. It has quirks and it has perks. I'll get into that in a bit. But yeah, the whole thing adds up to honestly, a pretty satisfying surf guitar experience. Uh, let's do some sound samples now. This is what you're used to hearing when you think about a Jags thing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. But then I throw on my Fender Outboard Spring Reverb unit here. I throw on the single coil paired with the humbucker. Thank you. 
sounds like a surf guitar to me, guys. It really does. <laughs> Honestly, that humbucker combined with the next single sounds really good for a surf. I don't know if I'd ever need to really change that bridge pickup. And, and the humbucker by itself sounds kind of good for surf too. It's got more output and more kind of like high mid character than a typical surf sound goes. But there's no reason why I couldn't use that in a surf context. Here is just the neck pickup. Much lower output than the bridge pickup, but when they're combined, kind of get the best of both worlds. So anyways, I'm looking forward to reading the comments down below. Do you think the Jack Stang is a surf guitar? Let's get into the rest of the demo. You wanna hear everything else that this guitar can do. We'll start off with clean examples of all the pickups, starting with that neck single. It's very jangly and bright and sparkly. It's it's almost got like this acoustic quality to it mixed with this like lipstick pickup sort of sound. This could be a great guitar for the strummers out there, the rhythm guitarists that want something bright and jangly. You bring in that humbucker pickup. Now it's humbucker and neck single together. And it keeps that jangliness, but it like fills out a little bit in a really nice way. Then you go to just humbucker and it sounds like a humbucker. There's something about, you know, the scale length working with the Austin style bridge that gives it this kind of metallic, jangly, bright, kind of like 3D sort of sound. It's not the sort of sound that everyone is going to want, but I think it works in a really interesting way with the humbucker where kind of the dead, muddy sort of sound that I typically don't like about humbuckers is kind of contrasted with this jangly nature of the guitar and ends up sounding kind of new and different in a way. It's brighter, it's more sparkly, it's more articulate. I mean, when I play it nice anyways. Maybe I'm tripping or something and it's just, I'm excited to play it. I like the way it feels, like it has this jangly sort of feel. So I'm like connecting dots in my mind that make me think it sounds different than any other humbucker guitar. But I will say I've been having a great time with it. I've been playing this guitar a lot since it came in. to the last setting with the pickups, of course. 
because it has Mustang switches and two pickups. You can put those two pickups out of phase. There's some really nasal, like lo-fi telephone sorts of sounds. Forget surf, right? Maybe this is a ska guitar. <laughs> Let's go back to the neck pickup and do some light overdrive stuff with my 250 style pedal here. It's got that Fender single coil kind of quack going on there. No complaints for me. Bring in the humbucker. <laughs> Sounds like a humbucker with overdrive on it. Both pickups together. go for combined pickup sounds, but something about that humbucker working with that single coil, I really like it. It's got a really fun personality. This guitar plays fast too. I don't know if you've noticed that I'm doing a lot of like fluttery little things, but it's easy. This guitar plays easy, it, pay, it plays fast, it plays articulate. I was expecting it to be a very ham-fisted, you know, power chords and distortion only sort of guitar, but. The only thing slowing me down with this guitar is my own ability. <laughs> All right, now that out of phase sound with the overdrive. The out of phase gets more interesting when you throw distortion and you know fuzz and stuff at it. I don't have a fuzz plugged in right now. That was an oversight on my side. All right, on to distortion now. I've got the bigger pedals woodcutter on the floor. <laughs> feeling guitar. There it is with the humbucker. Here it is with the single. Here it is with both. Again, those pickups combined. There's something pretty great about that. All right, 
Now, the out of phase stuff. <laughs> Yeah, the out of phase is a lot of fun with some high gain on there to compensate for the loss of volume. And you get, it gets you this like cocked wah sort of sound. It's just fun. All right. We've done the pickup sounds. Now I can move on to the Mustang Dynamic vibrato unit here. I want to have some fun. I want to show off the range of it, kind of what it can do. Get out of that out of phase sound. Just throw on some delay. I'll tap it to be a longer time. Maybe some overdrive. I'm gonna dive it. I'm gonna use the distortion. All right, I'm gonna use the distortion and I'm gonna dive it. have to admit that was impressive right I was all over the place I dove it to the body multiple multiple times I could keep going in a set as long as I'm not too far out of tune with the rest of the band but it sounds really close to in tune with itself he is so close off a little bit. The G, I mean, you expect that. Oh, they're so close. Results may vary, guys, but that, <laughs> that was wild. That was absolutely wild. Especially considering it is a shorter scale and shorter scale guitars tend to have more tuning issues because a slight slip of the string on the nut or the bridge saddle means a bigger jump in the tuning. That, that was wild guys. I don't know how else to put it. Something fun I did on the first day I got the Jagstang is I installed an extra Jaguar arm on it. I put the Mustang arm on there and I was like you know what I want to try it with a Jaguar arm so I'm going to do that right now and it kind of brings it 
even further into being a surf guitar, if you can believe it. This is one of the quirks of the Mustang vibrato is you have to use an Allen key to tighten the arm in and it keeps it in place as far as this axis goes, which can be great or it can be inconvenient depending on who you are. And if you're taking it in and out of a case, going gigging with it, I could see that being very frustrating. But anyways, the Jaguar arm on here is a good like two inches longer than the stock Mustang arm. And that extra leverage buys you a more traditional surfy sort of feel where the dives and the warbles are a little bit smoother, but also it gets you a little bit crazier with that like trilling thing you can do. Let's throw some distortion on. changes dramatically in a way that's very pleasant to your more traditional surf player. something cool going on there and then I messed it up didn't I if you've got a Jag Stang a Mustang some other Stang with this Fender Dynamic Vibrato on there and you haven't tried putting a Jag or a Jazzmaster arm in there to get some extra length give it a shot it changes the feel quite a bit it makes it more smooth and more you know, kind of like classic feeling in that sort of way. It also buys you a lot of wackiness with that trill and just, you know, a smoother, more wacky feel. Kind of cartoony sometimes. Siren sounds with it. <laughs> Am I in tune now? Ah, I'm more out. That's more what you would expect. Sounds like the B string. So, anyways, I think it might be time. For the rest of us, not just the surf guitars, not just the grunge, post-grunge, alt-rock guitarists out there, but the rest of us to take a closer look, another look at the Jagsting and think about how useful it is as a guitar, not just as, you know, like a signature model of Kurt Cobain, which it certainly is, and it never will stop being that, but I think more and more of us should be adopting this, especially if it's got features and qualities and you know sound qualities that appeal to you this guitar has a lot to offer i'm just saying guys it's jangly it's clear it's bright it's thuddy it's got enough you know output to push distortion in really fun ways the wiggle stick is a lot of fun. I'm going to be exploring this a lot more, uh, doing everything I can to get slightly more 
tuning stability out of it here and there. I have all sorts of little tricks I do when I set up guitars. I want to explore all the different mods I can do with this. I, you know, it comes with this little, you know, Allen key here. I know that there's mods people do to have something more convenient than bringing out the Allen wrench every time you need to make an adjustment. So I'm going to be exploring that stuff. I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have suggestions, things you want to see me try with the Jagsting or questions you want answered because you've been looking at them as well, hit me up in the comment section for sure. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. Click all the links down below, affiliate links. They pay bills for me, guys. It's a big part of how I put food on the roof and diapers on the table around here. And also, you know what? Some people, some people, not everyone, but some people really enjoy hanging out with me and all the other regulars in the Premiere chat when the videos launch. If you want to be somebody, if you want to be some people, then all you need to do is click the bell down below and set it to all so you get notifications when my videos launch. And then, you know, if you're not busy, maybe I'll catch you at lunch break, maybe you're on the toilet, you can hang out and chat in the Premiere chat as well. It's a lot of fun. It's honestly like the highlight of my day when I get to launch a video and hang out with everyone. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Stay grounded.